When horses are being fed in a group, you want to ensure that there's plenty of room at the feeders, especially if you're feeding grain. Horses seem to get uh, more demanding and you'll see more of a hierarchy type order uh, when you introduce grain into a group of horses. So if you're low man on the totem pole and you don't have enough feeders uh, to facilitate that group of horses, then that horse is not going to get any grain for that feeding. So you'll notice um, in this pasture we have four trough-like feeders. Uh, so we can actually have horses eating on either side of the feeder. And there's always uh, more feeding space available than horses that are actually in the pasture. So this ensures that all of the horses are uh, getting enough grain. You still want to monitor your groups um, within a pasture. Uh, you, if you have a horse that's starting to get thin, you may want to remove that horse and put them in a situation where you can ensure that they're getting enough uh, feed for the day. If you have a horse that's uh, top of the uh, hierarchy order, that horse may end up getting extremely fat with too much food. So that horse may need to be removed and put in a skinny tight pasture. Um, another aspect of this pasture I wanted to point out is we have mares and foals uh, out together. And if you'll, at feeding time, you'll notice that the foals actually come up to the trough and they're sampling feed along with their um, mothers. So if you have mares and foals in, it's actually a good thing for uh, foals to learn how to eat grain before we wean them or take them away from their, um, from their mothers. Um, you want to make sure that the feed you're feeding is actually formulated for the foals, not the dams, because the foals, since they're young and growing animals, are going to have a higher nutrient uh, requirement than their moms will, even though the moms are also lactating. Um, so you want to feed, have your feed formulated to take care of uh, the highest need in your pasture, and in this case it's going to be the foals.